Hey guys, Quinn from Micrographics Tech again, yeah, with another planter. So recently I had another interesting query. It was about, basically, if you go to any of the normal valves in plant and you right click on it, you can go in and you can set its end connection. So whether it be flanged, socket welded, unspecified, or if welded. I'm going to set it back to unspecified for now. But if you add in your own valve, you notice that option is missing. You can't set your end connection. Now, you can actually try and do everything to replicate it, but you probably will run into this problem because you're missing a crucial thing sometimes. Because in a lot of items, you can skip this, but here it kind of backfires. And what this is, is you need to add on the attachment point, the end code, which sounds a bit strange, but I'll show you what I'm talking about now. So what you want to do is go into your project setup. Now in your project setup, find the valve. So this is my small valve. It's a very happy valve. As you can see, it could be quite difficult to locate what you want. Then inside your valve over here, you go, you'll notice that even if you look through all of these and you make sure everything in your properties is the same, it still won't fix it. What you need to do is you need to go into your edit block. And now this is what I see most of the time. This is what the person who's having the problem had is that they would, they assume like with most things that you could just put an attachment point, which generally does work. Yes, it does make it work. But unless you put, go into it and you go, sorry, should I show this? But yeah, so you would select your point, right click, let's say properties. And then in your attachment point, you want to make sure that you have your end code on it. So that end point is that end section is very important. You can't get that mixed up. If you get that mixed up, it's not going to work. So the entire, uh, and it's also case sensitive. So just to let you know, it is attachment point one colon end code capital E capital C zero number zero. Then what you do is you can click off it and you'll notice that if I hit escape, there is my attachment point with the end code on it. I'm going to click on the second one. I'm going to go into its properties and I'm just going to modify my copy paste and I'm going to change this one to encode two, sorry, attachment point two, encode 180. So what you probably, or what you may have already surmised from this is that the attachment point one is at end code zero, so zero degrees. Attachment point two, end code 180, 180 degrees. So that's basically what it's saying. I know it sounds a bit strange, but weirdly enough, this is actually what affects it most of the time and what most people have been struggling with. Now, when we go close the block editor, don't forget to click save. Most people do that, they don't click save and they say, why is it not working? It's because you haven't hit save. Smile valve, looks like nothing has happened or nothing has changed. But when we click OK, doesn't look like anything's happened. But when we click onto our valve now, right click, you'll see we now have the ability to set our end codes or end connection. Pretty nifty. So it's something that's actually very simple, but it can give you quite a headache if you're not certain. By the way, there is actually ways that you can put these end connections onto other objects, such as your strainers and any inline uh, items in between. But that I'm going to leave for another video. Thanks, guys. Hope you've enjoyed this. I hope it's been helpful. Have a good one. Cheers, bye.